So I'm still in a bit of chaos this week, but I've got a number of packages that have arrived. So I think uh, we should check them out. Hi, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. If you're looking to produce some high quality PCBs with a fast turnaround time, then I highly recommend using them. They are currently offering 10 PCBs for only $2. And if you are a first time customer, you can get $20 off shipping off your first order. So go and check them out. So the first one uh, came from Officeworks. Ah, well that's pretty boring. Uh, one thing I did get is a remote uh, presenter. So I got this uh, because I wanted to be able to use my auto queue uh, from a distance um, and this is just a handy little thing. So hey, look this, that's a keyboard basically. Okay, next thing, let's move on. Okay, so uh, the next thing is a Kickstarter. It's uh, Dave's uh, meter that uh, finally arrived. I know he had a lot of issues um, and sort of firmware updates and shipping and sort of issues, but you know, that's uh, really to be expected for any Kickstarter. I haven't really seen any Kickstarter that's gone smoothly. This is good actually, because I've been running off an old uh, Fluke multimeter. It's been reliable for the last 25 years, but I think I need to have something that can do other fancy things like uh, capacitance measurement and things like that. I'll still have this one, this is pretty good. Uh, but I've now got a, a decent uh, meter uh, with all these other features like SD card support and everything else. Um, actually, the SD card support is the one thing I was actually looking forward to. How do you get this thing open? Man, that's a tight fit. So it's a nice little uh, unit, actually. I'm impressed with it. Hmm, I think I need to update the firmware. and I probably actually need to spend a bit of time playing around with it. Of course Dave's uh, made an app for it, so let's fire up the app and see how we go. That's pretty easy. Um, <laughs> so, obviously, so obviously Dave spent a bit of time making it pretty straightforward and easy to uh, to connect. That's I really like that, that's great. Nice being able to see the graphs. That's pretty good. So something I've been missing in my old uh, Fluke meter is uh, graphs. So I've got a uh, cap here, a 330 microfarad. Uh, let's see how this goes. Yeah, hang on. Let's change the mode. I need to actually be in capacitance mode. Uh, there we go, 304 microfarads. Nice. Now I wonder if I have a dodgy cap somewhere. Unfortunately I wasn't able to find a dud uh, cap because I tend to actually throw them out. Uh, anyway, this is a pretty good, um, a great purchase. Um, and they're expensive, but hey look. For what you're getting is actually pretty good compared to some of the other meters. Um, so excellent. I'm looking forward to uh, being able to use this a lot more. Okay, so the next one um, says video camera. These are some pretty tiny cameras, and essentially they're a tiny uh, full HD camera and. When I say tiny, this is how big it is. So the reason why I got them is because, well, they're nine bucks, would you believe? They record full HD and hopefully I'll be able to hack them. I saw these on CNX software. Let's power one them up and see what it looks like. It's got a composite out. Interesting. Uh, so obviously there's no compression uh, coming from the camera, so of course, Anything uh, over USB is going to be hard. Video streaming is going to be 
almost impossible. Okay, so this is quite interesting, the instructions for the little camera. Apparently to get into 1080p mode, I have to do this. I have to boot blue light long on standby mode, press the mode button, red and blue lights long for 1080p video mode. Click the switch machine button once again. Blue lights out under the red light flashing on the long three. Five minutes for 1080p video, a piecewise continuous recording save automatically cycle cover. Click the switch machine again to stop video, go back to the standby mode. So that's pretty good. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't follow the instructions and I couldn't actually get it to record in 1080p. So I had hoped to be able to connect up a small ESP32 uh, to one of these and get it to do some sneaky video recording, maybe even splatter a couple of these around the car uh, so I could actually do some recording with some motion sensing and so forth. Uh, but I think this is something for the back burner. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. So I got to uh, editing and I suddenly realized I hadn't actually pulled one of these things apart. Let's uh, see what's inside it. Okay, so what I can see is it's either a 1813 IC or a 734651. I suspect it's probably a custom jobby. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a tiny MCU with MIPI CSI and SD card support. So hmm, I might have to do a bit more uh, hunting around and see if I can actually find out exactly what it is. That'd be good because then I might be able to actually hack it and reprogram it. So the next one is from an old mailbag, uh, and these were something that Sion uh, sent me from Unexpected Maker, and I finally managed to uh, build these all up. So I think uh, let's attach them to a Arduino or something, and uh, see what I can get them to do. So I couldn't actually make these before because uh, I was just having difficulty getting the uh, the solder paste in and soldering them all up. So I took them to my mate Keen Mazels and he's got a reflow oven and everything else so I was able to solder them up and here they are. Let's get them going. I didn't really have any uh, single uh, line uh, right angle headers so I'll just have to modify uh, these uh, dual line uh, headers and just remove the other pins and then I can just stack them side by side easily enough. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, fire up an Arduino and uh, get these little babies going. Okay, so that's uh, pretty good. Um, it almost got there. Um, most of the LEDs are lighting up, but because uh, these are WS2812s, it's all daisy chained. So there's something wrong with this LED or maybe this LED. Yeah, everything else works, so it's pretty good going. It uh, looks like there's only one LED that's uh, out. Um, okay, I have to figure out what it is. So it just turned out to be a bad solder joint. Oh, that's alright. So all the LEDs are working. Nice. I'm definitely going to add this uh, to my new studio. Um, I don't know what I'll get it to display. Maybe I'll just uh, subscribe account. It's more than likely the uh, usual thing that goes on, but uh, I think I need to have something different, don't I? Uh, so thanks uh, Sion for that, um, I'll definitely make good use of these. So a while back I was looking at uh, these shower temperature sensor things. Um, it's a very cheap sensor that you attach to a shower head and it just displays the, the uh, temperature on the side of it. What I was doing was mucking around with ESP A266s and Bluetooth modules to see if I could actually get it to be powered from 
the internal uh, dynamo. Unfortunately, these things are pretty cheap. The temperature sensor inside is pretty dodgy, and after a while it was showing very inaccurate temperatures. Uh, and not only that, the dynamo inside eventually wear out and you end up with uh, a very sort of whiny noise when you turn the shower on. So they look pretty promising, but uh, they're all pretty dodgy really. However, um, what I actually want to be able to do is make my own one up. So uh, stay tuned for that. But I think for the time being, I'll have to put it on the back burner because I've got so many other things I've got to do. Anyway, that's about it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have much more uh, because everything's a complete and utter mess at the moment uh, due to all the renovation that's going on. Uh, unfortunately, it took a little bit longer than I had hoped, but I'll be continuing the videos in some shape or form. Um, I would like to get an SBC review in. In fact, a couple. I've got a whole lot of SBCs I've still yet to review. Uh, and I haven't done one for a while, so I need to really get into that. Um, anyway, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. When you're working around in the ceiling, you've got to be really careful where you step. Uh, if you step in the wrong spot, uh, you can accidentally slip, and something like this happens. Bugger.